Hello everybody. Today I am going to attempt to demonstrate and tell you how to remove this very pesky malware hijacker. It's called Venture Read or Install Open Software. Uh, the first thing that you uh, want to do is you want to see exactly what I'm talking about here. Uh, I'm just going to browse here and um, I was actually looking for some fishing spots in the keys and this is where the uh, the pop-up happened you can see I actually kind of sped this up a little bit because it's kind of boring I'm just trying to get the error to show so you can see exactly what I'm talking about so I'm gonna browse around a little bit more it's all sped up and in a moment you're gonna see exactly what I'm saying and um, at that point, what I recommend everybody to do when the pop-up comes up, do not click OK, do not close it out. Best thing to do is to close your computer down. There it is. See where it says VentureRead.com? I didn't do that. Automatically changed to VentureRead.com. And now you get this pop-up that says install OpenSoftware.com. Updates recommended. If you click OK or if you exit out, you're probably going to cause more of a deeper install of this malware or virus. So there you go. Don't click OK and don't X it out. Restart your computer now. Best bet. Okay. So once the computer restarted, um, what I want to do is I want to show you what most people do is they go into their program list and they see if anything was installed on their computer that, that they can simply uninstall. Makes sense. You know, so you're going to go down the list and you're going to take a look and see if you can find anything that doesn't look familiar. And a lot of these things won't, won't look familiar to you, but I, I look at my um, program list quite often, so I know what I have. So you're going to look, you're going to look for the venture read Dot com or something that says venture read you're also going to look for install open software.com or install open software in my case I did not find anywhere in my program list either of those the only thing I saw that I figured you know what I never use this program is this Apple application support and the Apple software update so I just went ahead and uninstalled it this was not the source of my error or the malware but it's just something I found while I was browsing in there, uh, and, I, and I just took it out. Okay, so the next thing I, I recommend doing at this point in time is um, I use Chrome. So going into Chrome settings, um, I wanted to see what my browser settings were set at. And when I go to where it says on startup set pages here, you'll see that there's actually nothing written where it says startup pages and I always use Google so I manually typed in Google hit OK and reset that um, a little further down on the page where it says manage search engines you'll also notice there's a ton of search engines listed here uh, and the only one that I use again is Google so I decided just to re and sometimes I use Yahoo but I decided to just delete all these other little search engines and where it says other search engines you could just X those out you don't use those or if you don't use them, if you have no use for them just get rid of them maybe it's possible that the malware is embedded into one of these um, programs or, or one of these one of these things that listed on your computer that you don't need anyway so just X X X get rid of all those things and then hit done when you're finished and and um, go to the next thing we're gonna we're gonna do. All right. One of the things I also wanted to point out is, if you go to your history tab within settings here, you're gonna see under where it says today Sunday March 27 2016 second listing down at 1237 you can actually see where it says venture .com and you will actually if you scroll look, look at the size of that URL that is just ridiculous 
All right, I was also checking a little lower to see if anything else was there. I did find one, by the way. Over here, up on the top right, I was scrolling my mouse, and it says Twitter unfollower. That was a an extension I never used, so I decided to delete it. Also, right next to it was another extension that I never installed, at least purposely. It may have been installed by accident. So it was called Belila Shopper. Now, the only thing I could think of is maybe this uh, malware was embedded into that. So I went ahead and deleted it, but I wanted to see what it was here. And yes, it's an enabled extension in Chrome, and I um, unenabled it and also deleted it on the spot the moment I saw it. And so uh, at that point in time, I was thinking, I think I just got it. Wasn't 100% sure, but I looked down to see if there's anything else I didn't recognize in this list of extensions under Chrome, and I didn't see anything. Um, and so at this point in time, I went to the next step just to make sure. And I decided to just make sure, go back and see if I can browse a little bit. Went back to the same area, Florida fishing, reefs in the Keys, and of course, I'm speeding this up because it's boring to watch. But I watch, you know, I browsed around for a while to see if anything else, uh, if that if that error would pop up again, and it didn't. So I was pretty sure that I fixed the problem at that point in time. Now, I recommend going back into your history and clear all this stuff out, at least for you know, the the last, uh, maybe up to like the last week. If you want to inst delete your entire history from the beginning of time, that's fine. It gives you the option right here, past hour, past day, past week, four weeks, or even the beginning of time. I decided to just remove for the past week my entire history, um, except for my passwords. It's such a pain to put those back in. And if you don't remember them. So I just cleared the entire history from there and uh, just the last week and it takes a second or two for it to go through but at this point again I went back and browsed a little bit more to see if it was definitely gone and I didn't see it Anyway, please subscribe to my channel if this was helpful and give me a thumbs up. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.